Yo, what's up guys? Cast Blast here and we are here with some more Builder Hall sneak peek updates. I told you guys I was going to start bringing you more of these. Um, hopefully this can be your one-stop shop for all your clash needs and we might even start doing some other games. I'm really, really enjoying Brawl Stars. Um, so I might bring some content from that once I get uh, program set up for it. So we're going to try this again. Uh, as you can see, we got some new levels, uh, new defensive levels. You got your Mega Mines. You can set to air uh, or sorry. Yeah, air or ground. So you can see the change there. Uh, it's a really nice feature, especially now with these. I mean, you guys probably already spotted them out. If you're looking forward to this update, you got the Night Witches. Uh, I got them set, ready to go. We're going to go over some replays, maybe some live attacks. Um, but you got, you know, a bunch of new defensive levels. Um, and then in your, your shop, you got new troop levels, right? So you got troop levels all the way up to 12. That new Night Witch unlocked. And she's up to level 12. Uh, some more troops still coming in the future. So this update is going to drop soon. Can't tell you guys exactly when. And I can't really show you guys uh, the troop damage or defensive damage. There's probably going to be some balancing changes. Maybe. I don't know. I'll show you guys why I think so. Uh, these new Night Witches are fun. They might be a little overpowered. If you guys play Clash Royale... I mean, the Night Witch might need balance. So you can see I got some uh, mines set to air or ground. You got a smaller mine, you know, changes on there. Um, Archer Towers, new level on Archer Towers. Cannons. Uh, you got your mortar levels, the new crusher, and two crushers now. So with these new troop or new troop, um, you're going to have some changes in some defenses. So they added an archer tower. Uh, you also got an added crusher. As you can see, I got three archer towers. An added crusher. Uh, some more mines. You got an extra mine on there. A and you got some new levels. Um, of course, you got these night witches. That's probably the biggest, coolest, most exciting thing. And you got this new big bad I, it, to me, it kind of almost looks like the Miner Helmet, uh, but it's the Roaster, right? You got the Level 6 Roaster all maxed out there. And as I've been testing out these new troops and update, that Roaster is going to come into huge play, I think, when it comes to stopping these Night Witches. Because these bats, uh, the bombs help a little. Uh, maybe the air uh, defense a little. Uh, some air bombs, but the bats, they are hard to stop. Simply hard to stop. Um, we can simply, you can see I got all, oh, <laughs> that's right. A new army training camp. So you got five camps now, much needed as you got all these new defensive levels, multiple added defenses, uh, added traps. You need more army camps and you got it. You got five now, so. Uh, I was really hoping there would be five for five, Town Hall five, or Builder Hall five, but you got to add Builder Hall six. I think it makes it pretty balanced. Uh, whether or not these Night Witches are balanced, so I, I just started hitting, you know, doing a couple attacks against myself. Um, you can see a couple humorous attacks here. Three star, three stars, uh, a no lookers, uh, and then I tried, you know, a no look versus a no hero. And they ended up both 75%. I don't know how that happened. Three stars, three stars. And uh, I lost to myself on that one. So we can go over some of these replays. And, and I'll show you just why I think there might possibly be a balancing coming soon. Um, with these night witches. So this is, I've never tested them before. Uh, I just kind of hit my base here. Set up two bases. Kind of threw in. The uh, hero put the night witches in the back. You see how quick those bats are. So the night witch, she deploys the bats uh, and she keeps on deploying bats. There's a time between once her bats, you know, kind of like the regular witch. And she has some mechanics of the regular witch. As you can see, she attacks from afar. Whereas the night witch in Clash Royale, as we all know, is, 
if you play it, is a melee troop. So she kind of throws uh, some lower damage from afar like the regular witch. But those bats get out front. And as you can see, the only thing kind of stopping them here uh, is that, you know, new defense. Uh, kind of looks like a drip torch to me. But it's able to stop the bats, fry them up real nice. Uh, and I saw kind of that's, I didn't even know if this attack was going to go through because every time it turns, it roasts the bats in one shot, probably why it's called the roaster. Um, but the bats deal with those crushers with no problem. So I see these night, witches are going to be needed with the added new crusher. Uh, it's probably going to be a very needed troop, but look at how many freaking bats are at the end, finishing off the, the defenses there. So that was my very first hit um, on the defense of it or on the power side. This is the same attack model. I built the same exact base for uh, or used the same exact base rather just to keep it fair. I uh, kind of sent in my hero and then I just spread out the night witches after the hero started taking some damage. Then I just put the night witches in a giant conglomerate and walked away. Didn't do anything else just to see if these night witches were going to be devastating as uh, some people have said, maybe speculated, uh, possibly words like OP thrown around. I don't know. I'm not going to speculate uh, until it gets finished, polished. This update actually comes out and we see what happens. Um, I wouldn't use words like OP, just a dirty word there. So as you can see, I didn't touch it. I didn't even use the hero's ability, right? So I just threw them down and they walked all over that base. So I went in feeling pretty confident in the next ones. Uh, and as you can see, apparently they're not as OP as thought. I separated them in two separate groups, used the bats to kind of cut the funnel, and then just threw the hero willy-nilly, uh, should he right up front, rather than kind of refreshing his ability, uh, and kind of walked away from this match as well. Uh, looked over at it once and tapped on the hero's ability right there, as you can see, but I figured I would let the Night Witches do their work. Uh, but what I saw happen is they started hitting some traps um, and the roaster just did a very good job roasting the bats, turning around and uh, some of the witches hit traps. They got stuck on walls. The added defenses did their jobs and, and it failed. And I wasn't even watching. I kind of threw down the uh, my other account you know, just to practice these, I kind of threw down the night witches in a circular pattern uh, to see if you could do like a surround and drown spam. I want to see how exactly spammy and overpowered these are. So you can see I just threw them in surround and drown. No hero, by the way, to see if you could just purely spam, uh, distract and destroy. And they didn't get the job done. Their bats were kind of picked off by splash damage by troops. And then one by one, the Night Witches fell to point defense. So maybe they're not so spammy, so OP as maybe some people have labeled them. Uh, so I figured, okay, maybe I go back to use a little strategy, right? Uh, kind of throw in the hero at a spot, uh, hit his ability, uh, way in the back, so by the time he walks up, you know, I used a little uh, Super Texan tip from that last uh, video with him. Used his ability, threw in the Night Witches to try to cut a funnel. Uh, my hero kind of got ahead. I didn't get a funnel cut. I don't have the timing of these bats down. So I did hero first, then Night Witches, right? And uh, he got out in front before they could get a funnel cut they kind of showed up to the party the same times their bats did uh then a lot of splash sorry as you can see starts taking the bats down uh and then that will leave point defenses able to pick off the witch which you don't want so point defenses do their jobs um couple bats left and 
I think this turns into 100% anyways. Uh, so, throwing the hero in the back uh, worked out for me, right? If we look at this replay here, so I could, this second attack was kind of the same, except I didn't monitor it. I just threw my troops in. So this, I kind of start the witches 4-4 four, four, <coughs> to clean up the sides of the base, get the bats out front, cut the funnel, right? Uh, and I'm trying to see what area, if I can get that roaster sidetracked and uh, some witches work in kind of like uh, new witch slap walk, if you will, except skellies, you're using bats that maybe get those items the witches will skirt the sides of a base uh, and the hero can stay in the middle, head through, do his work. But he just got ripped apart by that double cannon roaster point defenses start taking down the witches. There's that little uh, air spawn trap that just keeps on blowing up my bats and down goes my attack. A fail. <laughs> I did not think that was going to happen. Right. Right? So, eh, everyone fails sometimes. On the other attack, I timed it different. I thought maybe get out my bats in front to cut the funnel. So, I spawned my witches way in the back and got my bats out front. Multiple reasons on this one. You can see the bats are already going to work, cutting across a nice funnel. Witches haven't showed up, but they're going to keep spawning bats. And as fast as those bats are, my hero's just showing up to the party. I threw him down, hit his ability so I could use it and then keep ripping through the base, right? That's the game plan on here. So he goes to work. My witches do their slow walk. As bats die, they spawn more and they just keep walking. Man, look at how many bats they spawn maybe uh that might be a change maybe the bat speed might be a change um but there they go one witch gets thrown in the crusher she gets slammed when she dies tons of bats come out help with the hero i hit his ability now he's going into the middle doing a very very good job at distracting that roaster and what does that allow me to do build up a ton of bats right up until they hit all those bombs uh as they die more bats spawn and they just keep spawning bats uh and this is going to be a nice nice three star so maybe it's a very good idea to set the witches further back let the bats cut your funnel maybe a tip you know, I don't know. I, I think it's a good idea. Let the bats do a lot of work as witches are walking up. Uh, but why don't we do a live attack and just test it out here? All right. So we're back at the base, you know, same base you saw before. Um, I got my other base in the clouds. I uh, switched around. I put all the defenses to air and I moved uh, the air defense on the same side as the roaster and the mortar away. Maybe if they're going at the town hall, you know, give it a little more pick one mode or the other uh, type of deal. But let's jump into the clouds here. See if we can uh, get matched up with my base. Probably shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, but we got just night witches again. And uh, my hero. And we're searching. Here we go. Uh, so we get matched up. What do you know? Cast and blast versus cast and blast. Uh, so I kind of like that method as before, right? Let's set the night witches as far away as we can. This backside is the far. But now we are going up against these defenses first. I think we could use my hero to tank again. Uh, so let's get these night witches rolling. Bats way out in front. And I'll boom, hit my hero's ability. Uh we can see those bats are coming in and they are cutting a nice funnel for my hero. His ability is about ready to rip and roll again. Uh, hopefully nothing targets those night witches on top as 
My hero isn't through the wall yet. Maybe could use some wall breakers on this. Uh, bats, come over and help my hero, please. Come over and help my hero. Hit his ability one more time. There we go. Finally, they got down that uh, crusher. Uh, but those two air defenses are doing a number on my bats right now, right? So they were able to pretty much keep them from building up massively around that same area, which allowed a lot of defenses to focus in on my hero. But now that I'm through the air defenses, man, those bats are running free. Still got my hero. Got more witches that are still able to spawn bats, but there's so many bats, I don't need any more spawn. Now, here's the cool thing about the update, right? So if we go back, hidden feature here, we can watch now. Boom. Boom. We can watch me attack, which I haven't started, but uh, pretend I have. I'm about two minutes in. Uh, so we can watch the other guy attack. Um, love this feature. Well, maybe I should focus in. I'm trying to attack and show you guys at the same time on two separate uh, tablets here. So as you can see, when you're done, say your opponent is a guy that just randomly puts archers everywhere uh, and takes the full three, four minutes, the whole minute to plan and waste your time and then the full time to sit an archer in the back and plink around. Now you don't have to just sit there and stare at a blank screen. You can actually watch what the guy's doing live. Uh, I really like this feature. But here I sent in three groups. We don't have the uh, air defenses at the same time, but I kind of split my uh my night witch is up and i don't think this will get a three star not even close um so seems to be if you can keep these night witches away from the splash cut some uh cut some funnels basically good idea uh they will do a awesome job at working the crushers uh, everything like that, but there falls the attack. I failed or or I succeeded in defending, however you want to view it, but I think this is really neat. I, I'm liking a lot of this, this idea. If you guys are like, cast, I'm stuck at uh, Battle Builder Hall 3 still. Why do I want to see this? Guys, the Night Witch, right? We got the Night Witch, so get in there, check out... Uh, you know what's going on uh build up your base one of my accounts you know i'll probably go up to uh, the new builder hall uh pretty close to right away um the other two i've just been doing a, a couple battles a day maybe and uh one's at builder hall five the other one's almost at five so this is right around the corner for everyone else if you haven't got a head start on your builder hall this is really cool stuff coming out um We'll see how the balance affects the Night Witch. For those of you that trophy push, maybe I gave you a couple ideas. Maybe I didn't. But, man, it could be a good game changer for the Night Mode. So, hope you guys like it. Press like and subscribe. There's your Builder Hall sneak peek and troop attack with live attacks. Uh, I will be back. We'll be back to the normal class here in the next video. I got some more recaps coming up for you guys. Uh, I Someone requested a Queen Walk Go La Loon, so that will be coming up for you. A um, couple more Queen Pops that I thought were interesting may add uh, some enlightenment to those of you that are struggling. And like I said, I really want to get you guys some brawl stars in there. And, uh, oh yeah, witch slapping some old school HG HB will be around the corner as well. So hope you guys like it. Press like and subscribe. Ask me questions. If you got them, make sure you're following me on Twitter at cast and blast underscore C O C and I'll catch you guys next time.